Radiant Blessing. I don't mind it. Hedge Fund, March of Progress. You know, if you play March of Progress, you are kind of, like, basically guaranteed that you'll hit your, uh, your three costs. More like Jax, but it looks like somebody's looking to already play Jax. I think it's just Hedge Fund. Hedge Fund, birthday present's pretty fun, too. I never really have a good time with birthday present, though. Like, it never really works for me. I'll just go Hedge Fund. We'll play Disco. We'll do what we can with it. And then we'll go Steadfast Heart. Steadfast Heart with a belt. And then we'll deal with whatever we get. So we have five here. There's no way we win this one. No way we win this one, so it's like... We aren't going to... Get another money. So we don't sell things. Can I kill the Gnar? Almost. You tried your best. Boom. Heart steel. Oh, no. There's another disco. Cool. We love that. Get the disco four going. And then, next level, if I still have this uh, Cassante here, then, then I'll worry about it. But I think I... Well, the Disco 4, 10% attack speed, I feel like that's... Yeah, I feel like that's worth over the over the 2-star Cassante. 2-star Cassante is really good, though. If I happen, I don't think I'm winning this. This is an Olaf. I think the issue, maybe what I should stop doing, maybe the meta kind of forces you to build the offensive items first, and then you build the tanky items later. Because I feel like there aren't really that many great tanks early. Like, the more that I think about it, the games that I win are the ones that I slam my offensive items first. I mean, Garen is... Garen's kind of a Giga Chad, though. Sentinel version? I have a Corky in shop. I'd be down for that. Honestly, we could even play... We could play regular Disco with that. We could sell. We could go Steadfast... We could go Steadfast Giant on him. I don't even hate it. That's pretty good. I feel like that's better than what we had, for sure. If we win, maybe we even uh, sell these two. I don't think we're going to win against this Yasuo, though. It's possible. We do have got a good amount of healing. Yeah, I mean, it's possible that the Nami is CCing quite a bit. This guy's got how much HP now? 3,100 HP? Yeah, I, I actually, I do beat the Yasuo. That's funny. So we sell everything. We sell everything and then we just uh, keep econing. So I think that the best play here is... We could go... I mean, we could go the Warmog's route. The Warmog's route would also get us another Sentinel. Or we could go Redemption. Yeah, no, I'll go the Warmog's. Warmog's is pretty good on him. That'll give me a lot of power early. Like, I'll, I'll be able to find whatever I need. I'll be able to find whatever I need. There's another Sentinel. I think I sell it, though, if I win. Maybe I sell the Mordekaiser if I if, if I lose. 
But I think that the disco is actually better than putting another sentinel on him. Maybe? Is it? Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe not. Karthus. Sheesh. Karthus early, though, isn't even actually, like, good, because, I mean, he, he does kill a lot of, he does, like, harm a lot of units, but I feel like he doesn't really do a whole lot as a one-star unit. Like, I feel like Jax actually did more damage this fight than Karthus. Am I wrong? Karthus did more. Whoops. And then, Karthus is gonna win the fight, though. For sure. Do I at least kill this guy? Yeah, I killed that guy. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Alright, let's sell the Mordekaiser. Make some money. We get another one of these dudes. I don't think we're going Garen reroll. Garen reroll seems like a bad play. Bing, 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 do, do. But I mean, he's not he's not really like that bad of a tank to just hold us off. Like if we're playing, say we're playing TF because we have these disco champions. You know, we could just always go for Blitzcrank. Put these items on Blitzcrank, and then we're doing then we're chilling. This Olaf probably beats out my uh, my Garen though. If I had to guess. Especially since I'm getting chilled by the uh, Gragas. But so is he, so... It's possible. It's a very slow fight, though. This guy just gets infinite HP. It's kind of funny. Alright, maybe I'm underestimating Garen. I guess I am. Seventy gold. That's pretty good. We're just gonna keep going farther and farther with it. We'll treat eighty as our minimum if we need to power up. Maybe seventy. We'll scale up. We'll hit uh, eight before anyone else. I can sell all these. Make eighty. But da boom. We got some more discos. Cool. And a rod. I guess I am playing TF. That's the only thing that makes sense here. Alright, disco ball. Get back over here. I think I play Gragas on the right side, though. I feel like that, that kind of cradles more units a lot of the time. Yeah, a lot of the champions are... A lot of the teams are getting played on right. Uh, this... What is that? Mordekaiser? Yone? That's a really weird build. That's a really, really weird build. Pateric is doing a decent amount of damage, actually. It's interesting. But I can't help but feel like any of those items would be better on anything. Yeah, game's... Well, yeah, game's giving me, like, really bad items. That's the issue. Um, I can't... I can't really do a whole lot. I'm just gonna kind of chill for a little bit. Uh, this is... I would say Lucky Streak, but Lucky Streak isn't really all that great. Because I already have the hedge fund, so, like, what's the point? 
Pandora's. Pandora's can make sure I have perfect items for my TF. I feel like idealism is a bad idea here. Yeah, it's Pandora's. I should have gone. I could have gone Harm Assist as well. This is definitely going to get uh, rolled, though. I'm definitely rolling that Bloodthirster. If only I had uh, another 8 bit. I'll go Bruiser. I'll go Bruiser, and then I'll hold this uh, rod on the Vi. Let's just keep leveling, though. I mean, we got Hedge Fund, so we'll we'll be fine in the long run. We just have to kill as many units as we can in the meantime, so... Garen's a pretty good headliner. He's okay. I'm not gonna play Bloodthirster on him, but he's a pretty okay headliner. And I think I actually win this fight. Which, I mean, he's playing Heartsteel, so... Sure. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, I feel like these games have been a little unlucky, but, you know, we're doing what we can with them. I'm not going to worry about it too, too much. Edge of Night is also not a great item here. We have a couple Sentinels. We're going to level up anyway, so maybe we just play the Sentinels. Four Sentinel. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. We'll level up this guy. We'll go there. Yeah, that's cool. And then we can... What are we going to do? Sell this guy? Sell the Nami if we need? Or sell the Lilia if we need? I guess sell the Lilia. Sell the Garen? Yeah, we're not gonna, we're not going to need this Garen. Like, honestly, we're not going to need this Garen at all. Just make the 100. The Sentinel 4 is a pretty big upgrade for my for my team. The Disco pairs well, really, really, really well with it. The Morello is uh, a bit problematic for my Garen. But the amount of damage that he takes from the Morello changes <laughs> because he changes his max HP so often. Alright, so it doesn't matter what we get because we don't have a TF on, on the carousel. If we had a TF on the carousel, it, it, it would matter. But I think that we're going to go for the Viego here so that we can have the crit. So we can actually just have the Jewel Gauntlet. Because we're going Jewel Gauntlet, we're going Shoujin, and then Rabadons, or Gunblade. That's, I think, best in slot for TF. Alright, so we level her up. That's okay. That's cool. Oh, and then I rolled a Jewel Gauntlet. Wonderful. Okay. Cool. Uh, so it's actually easier... It's actually easier to hold the full Jewel Gauntlet. Because there are more completed items than there are components. So I'll just look for the components instead. So, that'll be fine. We're going for... Uh, Blitzcrank. TF. Mm. Echo or Mordekaiser, probably. Yeah, this guy getting his Karthus and then getting Metalheads is a real high roll for him. He's had this Karthus since like 2 4. Okay, I killed that guy at least. I also don't have 8-bit in. Whoops. Okay. There's an 8-bit. We could do that. So we hold the tier over here. We can buy this. So that we can save some HP, we definitely play this instead. 100%. We don't want to hold Rod, no. it's uh, Shoujin is more important than anything else. Shoujin is more important. Then you can build, like... You can you can change up what you build, really. Like, you could build Red Buff. You could build... You could build Rabadons. You could build Gunblade. But it's it's a lot more flex after those two. 
Like Shojin and and um, Gauntlet are the two really important items. Especially if you're going for Headliner TF. Headliner TF is, is better with, with the burst items. Come on. We at least kill the Pantheon. That's fine. I think that was worth one gold, saving some HP. Oh, wow. Let's go some damage, Sona. I mean, we could go the we could go the damage items on her. We could we could completely transition out of that. I guess so. Let me hold some items here if I need them. I wasn't I didn't get it in time. I wanted to hold the Ginsu's for. Her. But yeah, I think that um, with that, honest. No, I still sell. I still sell. Oh my gosh, great. That's amazing, actually. I think that's good enough. I think that's good enough. We have Sentinel in, but uh, we have to do this. And then we go this for Ginsu's. We can go Lulu, honestly, that's fine. And then we are going to go, not Steadfast, Probably D-Claw. Sure. We can go Lulu next to the Sona. Like this Sona? I definitely need a little bit more frontline to make this work. Need like a Ginsu's before anything else can really, really work here. Let me actually do this just... Oh no. Jewel Lotus. Jewel Lotus, I guess. It's not on Leash Arcana. Harm Assist is not very good. Yeah, it's Jewel Lotus. Alright, so we play this here. We play Alawi back here, and then we hold the rest of them up there. We can have Lulu right next to her. And then we need... We have that Spellweaver there. We have five Spellweaver in because we have Disco. We have that. We have that. Yeah. The Alawi is secondary importance. We don't really need to worry about having the Alawi fully built. We want to wait and get all of the items for Sona first. Get as many Sona items as we can. Oh, I also kind of trapped the Lilia, but she has the Disco Ball. So it's fine. If I can get the Ginsu's, the Ginsu's would change everything here. Because, I mean, she does a ton of damage. Maybe I honestly... You know what? I'm going to hold the sword on Lulu as well. Or no, I'm not going to hold the sword on Lulu. I'm going to wait until I see a tier, and then I'm going to hold it. Because blue buff would work just as well as Shoujin. Works the exact same. Yeah. That's fine. Then we have Ari. Ah, God. Nothing I want. Nothing I want. Hear my song and dance in the moonlight. I don't know, man. Because it could be seven Spellweaver. Seven Spellweaver would be pretty okay. But then I also drop Disco, which is fine. You know, that's fine. I don't know where my... Okay, so my KDA spreads over here, so I, I did that a little early, but whatever. It's fine. Seven Spellweaver is going to make it so that she actually casts with a lot more oomph. Yeah, 300 AP when she casts. Goodbye. I think that was the play. If I can get a if I can get a bow, bow would change so much here. 
Because she starts off with 70 AP. Go for the bow. I could also go for the zigs. Zigs wouldn't be bad. We have KDA active. Yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, this is fine. I'll just go for the tier. Hopefully I can get, like, a uh, blue buff for my Lulu. I think that it's better to put it on Lulu than it is to put it on Ori, because then she also buffs the Sona. And it's barely any... Uh, do all Spellweavers. All Spellweavers get the AP when, when any Spellweaver casts. Yeah. There we go. That's what we needed. Yeah, when Ari casts, when Ari casts that, that gives every Spellweaver the, uh, the AP. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the way it works. Yeah. Yeah, so here, I'm gonna give the Lulu a, a tier. I could just go another Warmogs here. You know what? I'm kind of okay with that. Just get as much HP in front of the Sona as possible, because I'm, at this point, 49 HP. You know? Not only that, like, the Sona's also getting extra AP, or the Sona's also giving out extra a AP from, uh, from just her, you know, her auto attacks. Both Sona and the ally get 3 AP. That's something I didn't actually know. <laughs> That's funny. I had no idea that that Sona also got the AP. That's crazy. That's that's actually nuts. So every single time she's attacking, she's getting three AP. That's she starts off with two sixty, and then she ramps up like crazy. Oh god. Okay. I think this is fine. Yeah, that's how it works. Look. Both Sona and the ally. <laughs> you just see her obliterate the back line? He just completely obliterated the back line. <laughs> oh, I'm still waiting on that guy? Nah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I think so I might even be able to go ten with this. Maybe find a maybe find a Sona headliner. Because if I find a Sona headliner. Oh, oh, Radiant Blessing, I still haven't hit it. <laughs> Seven of us haven't even hit it. That's funny. That's really, really funny. Look at how much uh, gold I have, by the way. Oh, okay, roll it because... Yeah, okay, Shojin's fine. I didn't see a tear, so I wanted to, I wanted to roll it there. All right, um... It is worth to throw out another Lulu. It is, in fact, worth to throw out another Lulu. But I, I'm i not facing this guy, so I can afford to throw my, my Lulu over here. So I drop one Econ here to throw out another Lulu. Yeah, that's fine. But uh, this is still a one-star Karthus. I think I cast before the Karthus. Oh no. Double Infinity Force Akali. X squeeze me. No bueno. Alright, I think I need to rush 10. Let's rush 10. What's this? A tome and a. Okay. Super fan? Eh. Sentinel, I guess. Sentinel, I guess. Okay. 
Okay, there she is. Cool. Damage, we go this, this, this. We're gonna go Sentinel him, and then Shojin her. Okay. Alright, cool. I mean, that's the play with... Uh... She also gets a lot more attack speed, by the way. If you didn't know. Her... Um... Her headliner version gives her extra attack speed per attack. So yeah, she gets extra attack speed base, and then she gets 2% attack speed every time she attacks. So it's like half against use, thereabout. So I think that the play might actually be this. Double Shoujin instead. Yeah. Yeah, her headliner is half against use. <laughs> So I'm actually going to go double Shoujin instead. Come on. One more cast. Damage Sona is nuts. She is insane. Certified bonkers. Oh, and I have another Seraphine. I didn't even realize. I need I need a Sentinel. Stat. Stat. Give me a Sentinel. She doesn't hit everyone with her ult. It's the five closest enemies. Yeah, five closest enemies. 11 if it's if it's 3 star, but that's only 3 star. It's not lame. It's far from lame. Let's try to find a sentinel here. You want to talk about what's gonna be what's not gonna be lame is when I hit three star Sona. That's not gonna be lame. Where's the sentinel? There's a sentinel. Cool. Four sentinel. Big upgrade. I might face this guy though, so I'm actually a little afraid of having my team positioned over there. Headliner Bark can hit everyone. Yeah, only after he stacks up. Come on. Hum? Boom. Oh my god, you see all the crowd divers just dance? That's funny. Goodbye. He's dead. Another Sona, though. If only I could fit that into my team. I mean, I could if I removed the other Ziggs. Which, honestly, a double Ginsu's other Sona? That might be worth. Let's do that. Alright, so hopefully I don't face that guy. I don't. Good. Because then they're also going to be feeding into each other with their with their AP. Then I just get one less hyper pop, which isn't even the end of the world. Like, look at this. The second Sona attacks, and then everyone gets wiped. Everyone. Goodbye. <laughs> this is a better Sentinel, by the way. This So is this. Oh, wait. I can't drop this one, though. I can't drop that one. I can drop this one, though. Yeah, that's fine. Goodbye. Yeah, so double Sona. Double Sona. I think double Sona is actually going to be enough to, uh, to, to get me to the end of the game. And then this one gets attacking super fast. And then I get another item for my other Sona. Give me a Shoujin, please. Give me a Shoujin, please. Spark. Since I don't have... Yeah, Spark is fine. We'll go Spark because we don't have the uh, we don't have the other dude anymore. Does anyone have a Sona? This guy has a Sona. It's impossible for me to hit until he dies. 
but I will I will try to hit the three star Sona this game. It's time. It's time, y'all. Alright, so here's the big brain play. If I'm going to be fighting this guy, I want him to teleport behind my tentacle. Okay, he didn't... He, he, I'm not fighting that guy. But if I, if I uh, lose one, then I kind of have to roll for two stars. Here we go. Wipe. Wipe. The Zanyas kind of dodged the two. Are we okay here? We might be, actually. Yeah, I think we're okay here. Goodbye. I mean... I mean... It's pretty good. It's pretty good. This guy's still alive, though. I need to fight this guy so that I can find my three-star Sona. Hopefully I can. I don't want to fight this guy yet. I feel afraid. I feel afraid. Very, very afraid. I'm fighting this guy, but he doesn't have his augment, so he doesn't have last stand. Okay, because he's a ghost. Riven's on the front line. Cool. Which means I get to cast against her twice. Which isn't enough, but it does mitigate a lot of damage. Okay. Yeah, I was right to be afraid of that guy. Can Chris die? Chris is going to die, maybe? No, Chris isn't going to die yet. Ah, well. Well, give me two-star Alawi. Now I can wait. There's there's literally nothing for me to roll. For me to roll for. There, there, is, there is nothing. I'm fighting Chris, too, so I feel pretty confident here. I'll hold the... Do I, do I roll for Blitz, though? I might want to roll for Blitz. No, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna... He's he's actually... He's holding so many of my units, I'd, I have to wait. It's fine. I'll wait. Sell these just so I have more money. I still have a two-star Ari, by the way. But I have six Sonos. Alright, kill this guy so I can find my Sona. Goodbye, Chris. It was not nice knowing you. Anyone else holding my Sonas? No? Sona on carousel, please? Sona is on carousel. Let's hope that he... He realized that that's what he was supposed to do. That's a shame. Rip. Now I can't hit. Literally no way to hit. That's so sad. Maybe I roll for a different three-star headliner. Three-star, uh... Yeah, like, if I, if I lose one fight against him, then I'll roll for it, you know? And if he switches sides, honestly, I'll switch sides too. I don't even care about KDA. Goodbye. Sure. Crown guard on this guy. Because, like, these two, I don't think they really need the KDA. I feel pretty okay about it. I don't die here. This guy's holding my Sona. Let's roll for anything else. Literally anything else. Lowey, maybe? Yeah, I don't know how, how much else to uh, change this. That's cool. That's fine. GG. I get second. It was a good, it was a good game, though. It was a good game. Last stand is uh, disgusting. We know this. We know this to be true. GG. Alright, those of you watching on YouTube, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Follow my Twitch.
so on and so forth. I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching again, and...